cloned version of your macOS installation on a portable USB drive can be invaluable if your system suddenly fails to boot. It can give you troubleshooting options and even permit you to keep working with an identical copy of your files. While internal hard drives are the best way to create bootable copies of your system, a USB drive can also work. How to install macOS on a USB drive if you want to use the Disk Utility app for this method, first right click the USB drive in Disk Utility and click Erase. Format your USB drive as Mac OS Extended or Journaled and choose GUID Partition Map Scheme. When the process is complete, download Mac OS. Unless you have a specific reason to install an older version of macOS, and actually most of those have been deprecated since this article was first written, download the most recent installer from the App Store. Given the size of the macOS Big Sur, which is around 13 gigabytes, it may take a little while. Uh, it may open and begin to take you through the installation process also when it finishes downloading, but you don't want to do this. Follow these instructions for another way to create a bootable installer. Open Terminal, found in the Utilities folder. Note that you'll want to change the placeholder for whatever your USB drive is called. The code makes a couple of assumptions. You're installing Mac OS Big Sur onto your USB drive, and the download installer will get stored in your applications folder. Now, in this example, I'm installing an older version. It's just that I happen to have that one to hand. Of course, you'll need to change the file paths if neither of these are true. For other operating systems, Apple very kindly provides the necessary snippets that you'll need. Link in the description. Once you press the return key, the installation process will begin. Note that you'll need to input your administrator password and confirm that you want to erase the current drive. It could take a while to erase the USB, but at some point you'll be asked where the terminal can access files on your USB drive. You should confirm that it can. From there, the install process will copy files to your USB. It will also rename the USB to whatever is set for the installer that you downloaded. In our example, it's install macOS. Catalina. At this point you can quit the terminal and eject the USB drive and you can now install the operating system from this USB. How to clone your hard drive to a USB drive. If you have a USB drive large enough to accommodate the data on your boot drive, in my case it's 512 gigabytes, you can create a direct clone of your boot drive. If you use the proper software this disk will also be bootable. There are many options here although super duper or Carbon Copy Cloner are fantastic. This tutorial is using Carbon Copy Cloner to create a clone of your hard drive. Here's what you do. The process is super straightforward. Select your boot drive as the source for the clone. Set your USB drive as the target for the cloning operation. Click Start to begin the cloning process. This will overwrite and replace the content of the USB drive with the clone of the boot drive. From here, you'll want to boot from the drive itself. How to boot up from a USB drive. Once you've installed macOS on a USB drive or cloned your hard drive, you'll need to restart your computer and boot from your USB drive. You can run macOS from a bootable USB installation, much like you'd run one from an internal drive. There's no operational difference between the two systems, though running off a USB drive is going to be slower than the internal SSD. To boot from your USB drive, set your bootable USB as your startup disk for the next boot in System Preferences, Startup Disk. Then click Restart to reboot your Mac. Your Mac will reboot from the USB instead of your default startup disk. You could also use the Startup Manager to select your boot drive when you start Mac OS. If you're using an Apple Silicon machine, you'll need to insert the USB drive, shut the Mac down, then reboot and hold the power key until you come up to the Startup Manager. For Intel Macs, just restart and hold the Option key to enter into the Boot Selection dialog. For both types of machines, use your keyboard's arrow keys to select the USB drive from the list of bootable devices. Click to Confirm and your USB drive will begin to boot. Now you can run the operating system as normal and use this USB drive to boot up your Mac. Disk operations on the boot drive can be performed safely from a USB stick as well. If you have a USB drive that needs to be fixed, why not find out how to fix unformatable USB drives? link in the description. What will you use your USB installation of macOS for? Let us know in the comments section below. Okay, as always, thank you so much for watching. That's all for now. I'll see you next time.